Hey guys, so I'm working on my um, my clay peacock that I'm going to do. This is where I left off in my last video. You see some foil wrapped around the base, the front. That's to give it some structure and a little bit of weight so that he doesn't topple over. And it left him a little bit rocky. But that's okay. I had more to do. What I'm going to do now is take the tail, which was all grouped together like this. And pulling him down in the back, I'm actually going to spread it out. You want to have a feel. This takes practice, but you want to have a feel for how much um, weight and gravity work together when you're working on this. So kind of close your eyes the first couple times you do a wire armature and just feel it in your hands. And feel if it's tugging and pulling one way or another. Make an adjustment. Feel for it again. Um, that's one of the benefits of going with a gauge wire that is easy to manipulate is you can play around with it several times without it breaking many, many times actually without it breaking, but I'm going to take right at the base of the tail here, start spreading them out. And now you can kind of get a, a feel for and see how much girth this sculpture is going to take up. You're going to love it when it's done because it's, it's going to be a really unique idea. I haven't seen anybody else do it. Um, it's inspired by a couple, several different things that I saw that I kind of mashed them all together and came up with my own idea. But I am creating like almost like tracks or branches with these things. I'm taking three at a time, grouping them together by slightly, slightly twisting here. Okay. It's easier to twist than it is to untwist. So I recommend your twists be minimal until you're positive that you know that that's the way that you want to go with it. It's easier to adjust it before you over twist it. Once you over twist it, it's really hard to change that. It's kind of the nature of the beast with wire. So I'm going to take three more. One, two, three. I'm choosing wires that are near each other. Okay, I'm going to wrap the wire around itself here. And I'm going to branch it out like that. Okay. And now it's a little heavier on this side than it is on the other side. That's because I have more branches coming out this way than the other way. Now I'm going to take three more. One, two, three. And matter tends to try to choose the path of least resistance. What that means is if you take wires that are way over here and try to branch them over here, it's harder to... Um, to, to, to balance out your armature that way. So, I have three more grouped. And pull them out this way. Now I'm at a place where I don't have enough to do three and three. But that's okay. I'm going to do two and two. Let's see. I'm going to take... Let's try these two and these two, okay? I'm going to branch these ones out a little bit, twist them around themselves, pull them out that way, branch these two out a little bit, and pull them out that way, and we have one sticking out by itself in the middle here, this one right here. And he's fairly balanced, but he's heavy in the back again. And I can balance that out by pulling these guys here forward a little bit. Really cool. I'm, I'm loving this thing. I'm loving what it's doing so far. The first thing that I tend to want to do, I'm sure other people as well, is I tend to want to panic when I see my, my sculpture starting to fall. No need to panic. I've got them nice and balanced. I'll show you some more um, another day, but this is where we are with them at this point. What I may even do is I may even bulk up the bottom some more with my um, foil and make sure he's got a really good, heavy, strong base. And another thing you can do to bulk up your base and make it nice and heavy is you can actually um, use rocks. My last dolphin sculpture, 
He was really, really weighted towards the tail end. And even on, even on a nice sturdy base, he still wanted to tip. So I took the opposite end of the base and I added nice, heavy, real rocks onto the base of it, glued them down, made sure while it was drying that I had something to prop up the tail so you don't fall over. And by the time that glue was dry, that, that sculpture was nice and balanced all the way around. And I had to try to think ahead and accommodate for how much clay I was going to need on the back too, because the clay adds weight and add more balance to the front so that I, I kept them balanced. So instead of two rocks, for example, in the front, which would have been sufficient without the clay, I used four rocks because I knew that tail I was going to build up real big and fan out. So just things to keep in mind. Your armature is all about balance, um, size, and um, it's about like support. Those three things. That's the whole point of an armature. All right. Um, and, and when you have those things right, you don't need a lot of clay. And that's the beauty of it. So it saves money on your clay. This wire was a lot less expensive than buying a whole nother package of clay. So um, the foil, you know, a, a couple box for a whole roll of foil. I've done probably five or six sculptures with one roll of foil, maybe even more than that. So it really saves you a lot of money too. That's it. Talk to you later.